Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Heidi. Um, this video is going to be real short. It's just a um, discussion I wanted to have with some viewers and maybe some people that happen to stumble across the channel. Um, it's basically talking about uh, the patch that we had for April 18th and hopefully some good news for expansions. So my two favorite people to follow for like updates is Dolphy and That Shaman. And That Shaman had a post talking about a lot of map changes. Now I've come to the conclusion that these map changes might be like uh, the living world how it was when Scarlet Briar was here. And you know they had a lot of map changes. Even in World vs. World they had these probes going around and apparently she was sucking up lay energy. So in this story if you guys have been keeping up. Um, there's two new elder dragons that's uh, like awoken from their slumber. There's Jewel Mag and Primordus. And these two elder dragons are um, causing havoc around Turia. You can see them. Um, it's been like maybe a year since Morjamoth was defeated. And that's uh, awoken both of these elder dragons from their slumber. That shaman has also updated uh, a picture that could be a new elite specialization icon. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Now I've had some friends that said that in the next expansion and even on a reddit post that warrior is most likely getting spears or daggers or whatever. So this picture to me looks like daggers or spears. It's most likely not going to be spears but um, they look like, like the tip, the heads of spears, like the, the tip of them. Like there might be some weapon um, skins that come out that look like spears like when they did with staff for revenants they have, they made a lot of um, spear like weapons. And here's a little picture of um, what I was talking about like the head of the spear. Now the reason I said spears is because I had a few friends say that um, we might be going back to the order of sun spears which is from Guild Wars 1. Now I don't personally know too much about the sun spears. But I have played Guild Wars 1 and um, and I have played Eye of the North. So for a lot of people that's got real deep into the expansions from Guild Wars 1, um, they might know a lot about the Sun Spears. Me personally, I would love that if Anet did um, like implement a new set of weapons, like maybe the Spears from Underwater weapons. Like I don't understand why they, they couldn't do that. But... Um, the reddit post that I've seen it's most likely going to be daggers for warriors and then they might have weapon skins that make it look like spears or something like I said before but it's all good I, I, I think daggers will work nice with warrior. So here's the spoiler part for um, people that's been playing Guild Wars so I'm just letting you know right now so you don't fucking go all crazy. But um, in the last part of Head of the Snake which is the, the last episode that we had so far um, you fight Cardicus and He's like gone mad from the blood magic or the, the bloodstone. And um, you have to fight him and then you ultimately ended up like killing him. So next you go around his mansion looking for clues about what happened. And you find out that he's um, been in contact with uh, the Mersot. And the Mersot are saying that they're not you know, who they claim to be. And, and Cardicus knew that he was a fraud. So... I'm assuming that it might be Casimir. Like she might be making a clone or something of herself and, and pretend to be like um, a, a Mersot. I don't know. That's just what I think. It, it, it's probably far off because I'm just assuming it's Casimir because we haven't seen her since Mordrumov and Marjorie has wandered off too now. So I'm just guessing that's what's going to happen next in this next episode. So uh, just let me know what y'all think and um. Yeah, leave the comments in below and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Cardicus, you have to stop. It's over. Who's this? An imposter of my lost daughter. Imposters all around me. You look like to me, but you can't be. She's dead. She died the day she betrayed me. Just like her backstabbing mother who I had stabbed in the back! Father! Murderer! Murderer! No! But I can fix it. We'll try again. You and your mother. I'll see you both in the mist.
will be a family again. Are you kidding me? The ego on this man. This is his inner sanctum. Every time he came back from here, he was slightly more unbalanced. How do you think the conversation with the sculptor went when he ordered these? I need at least six reliefs of my face. No, no bigger. Like eight feet tall. Something that really captures my essence. A catastrophically misguided, swagger-sodden plague sore. You throw away the outside and cook the inside. Then you eat the outside and throw away the inside. What did you eat? Slightly larger and more unhinged than our last encounter. Gods! A mask of his own face! My pleasure. Given due process by the Crichton throne, you are hereby sentenced to. Oh, forget it. Let's just kill him. You're coming with me! God, you have to last. We have to get out of this twisted place. Here! What is it? According to this note, it's one of Lazarus's aspects. A what? Without it, they could have never resurrected Lazarus. The real Lazarus. Codicus wasn't kidding when he called him a false god when he showed up. If he's an imposter, it would explain why we were able to see him. But who would pose as Lazarus? Someone who wanted access to an unstable bloodstone, and an instant army to unquestioningly do their bidding. Deceptive, tactical, and powerful. Not the greatest combination. I'll send this to Exemplar Calden with the shiny blade to authenticate it. Make sure it's not just more propaganda. And then Marjorie. We should get her out of there. I'll send word to her on my way to... Well, wherever we go, I suppose. So, no Dragon's Watch in your future? Regretfully. I've been under someone's yoke for too long. It's high time I walk as my own so far for a while. Well, being in the guild doesn't mean... But I understand. Thanks for everything, Kanak. You've been a good friend. Oh, don't start weeping about it. I'm sure our paths will cross again.